Okay. All right, basic guard. Okay. I think I, I mentioned this probably, I think, before the seminar started or may, anyway. Basic. So this is kind of the basic guard. Look like about all of you were kind of taking something like this, right? For purposes of what we're doing here, right? I want you to work this, okay? There, it, it does lots of great things for us, okay? Primarily, any anybody know why we, um, why you actually turn your uh, tend to turn your shoulder to your opponent a bit more as opposed to coming straight on like this, huh? Narrowing the target. Exactly. Target availability, right? And one thing I remember seeing a lot in Taekwondo was that they would actually turn their body full on, right? Yeah. To the side here, okay? What's the big problem with doing that? Um, slows your backside, sir. Slows your backside because you actually have to move around yourself, right? And I'm, I'm not putting down Taekwondo. I'm not putting down Taekwondo. This evolved because of the rule set. Yeah. Okay? That's why this is here is just because of the rule set, right? Taekwondo, I'm not allowed to punch the head, which drives me nuts. Okay? Especially when most of the Taekwondo guys that I've sparred against do this number. Yeah, they're back, they're back away. They're, they're out of kick, you know, they're, it's kicking range, but like we're going to get into here in a bit. Okay? It's just, I, yeah, it's that basic combo, right? Okay, so anyway, though, so basic weapon access, right? As well, um, yeah. Well, let's see here. Uh, as far as weight distribution goes, we want what? Anybody know? <laughs> it depends. Sir, is it depending on what your if you want to be more yeah. aggressive or defensive? Um, it can primarily, uh, at least the way I think about it, mm -hmm. is um, there, there's a reason you know you get a neutral bow, right? Yeah. Neutral. Why is it called a neutral bow? Uh, it's neutral. Neutral. It's, it's neutral. Yeah, it's 50 50, yeah. right? It's 50 50 weight distribution, right? So what that allows you to do is you can you're not committed to forward or backward, right? You can get out of the way quicker, okay? Um, let's see another key point here. Oh, another key point from this stance. Drop the knee slightly, okay? Let's create a little bit of a coil on this back leg, okay? So uh, later on there are some other techniques where you can actually just fly out of the hole with it, okay? Um, but yeah, I don't think we're actually going to cover that today. So anyway, basics. So, um, all right, so that's the basic stance. Let's hop switch. Just take it up here, okay? One of the other, one of the other basic ideas here: keep your head below this. Keep your head below this uh, lead hand here, okay? Uh, this just helps, right? What's well, one of the basic rules of Kempo, right? You keep your hands above your opponents, at least within reason, right? <laughs> if, you're, if you got to do this, it, no, just no. That's ridiculous, right? Okay. Well, this right here, okay? And then this particular hand positioning plays into um, what's called a zone defense, right? I think basketball has a similar term. I'm not super yeah. familiar with it, but the basic idea is um, you don't want to have to do more work than is necessary, okay? So I want to block this hand, okay? I want to use this hand to, keep, to essentially block everything that's coming in high, and then this hand is down here to protect things that are coming below, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, let's start working. Um, we're gonna start working combination, that, that combination, all right? So, Stephen, if you want to put your second, okay? All right, we're gonna square up here. Okay, you guys, oh yeah, you guys all know the difference between uh, an open and a closed stance, right? Okay, for the camera here, let's, let's do this. Okay, so this is a closed stance, right? This is a closed stance. We've got basically belly button to belly button, or left to left, or right to right, okay? This is an open stance where it's uh, right to left, okay? All right, the tactics change very, you know, they change depending on which one's forward. Okay, all right, did you have anything better? Okay. No, sir. All right, just wanted to, just wanted to work. Okay, so now let's turn this right here. Okay, all right, so the basic combination, like I was saying, I want you guys to work uh, just the bread and butter here. Side kick, okay? And this is, so this is what we're going to work. Actually, let's just work this first, okay? Because there's some little details in the side kick. Primarily, what I want you to get is the ability to do that, okay? Pick the foot up. Push drag. Huh? Well, actually, what push you want drag. to be... Yeah, push drag, exactly. Boom. Okay? 
You want to be able to get that in there, right? That has to do with disguising what's happening, okay? All right, just like you guys, when you guys train, you try to keep your head level. Mm -hmm. Okay, why do you do that? Uh, less energy, they don't know where you're coming. Exactly, right? Okay, yeah, if I'm coming up and down, up and down, right? It's very easy for you to kind of read them coming in, or as if it's just, right? Um, it's full body movement instead of just dragging yeah. your body along. Yep, yep, yes. so, all right, okay, so, yeah, so just let's go ahead and let's have you guys pair up right now, and we're gonna just take turns, just go back and forth, okay? And right now, it's just getting familiar with the target, right? Primarily, right, I mean, at Ben's test, they saw a lot of, uh, there was one guy that looked more like a kickboxer than anything else, but he was going for the legs, which is great, but the rule set we're working with here is primarily kick above the belt, okay? Have, strikes have to be above the belt with the exception of the groin shot, but I wasn't planning on getting into that today. So, um, yeah, so the target, bone, anywhere in here, roughly with this, okay? Belt to, belt to ribs, all right? Okay, go ahead. So just go ahead and go back and forth with it. Okay? okay. Yeah. Well, we can mix it up here, but right now I just want to just get just the kick in. All right. Okay. My hips aren't wanting to do that. Asai! Yeah, so it's like, I'll, I'll be happy later just because I have not opened my hips. Aish! Stephen comes in and he's just, you know, he's throwing stuff, right? Like, I can just bring that up if, uh, you know, if I'm, I'm, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure he's going to be throwing a kick, right? I just drop that and then boom, boom, come in with my own stuff, right? Yes, sir. And if I want to, right? So he, he comes in, he throws the kick, right? I know it's coming. Boom, block, side kick. Ooh, I like okay. that. Okay, yeah. just right off the, right off the block, right? Yeah. Same, th same idea as... He comes in with a punch, boom. With the back. Okay. Oh, okay. Exactly the same idea. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so use their use their strike to bent trampoline or rebound your exactly your, your pick. Exactly. Okay. So. I like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then for you can if, you are, um, if you are hey, if you are congratulations on your brother getting coached. That's really awesome. Um, <clears throat> okay. So for the for the yeah. partial chamber though, if I'm if I'm hey, the one that's taking that. the initiative, boom. I just, Oops, sorry. Yeah, you're right. I just want to explode in there, right? So I don't want to pick this knee up. 
Yeah. Any more than I have to, because it'll give him a cue that I'm coming in. Mm -hmm. Right? Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Okay? Okay. All right, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so what you guys do? Play around with that for a minute. Okay? What, what's up? Just, no. or have you been playing around with it? <laughs> I, I play around with parts of the chamber a lot. Cool. I also, yeah. All right. Just also with the chamber, don't, you don't have to just chamber here. Yeah. You know, a lot, a lot of times, what, what gets people is if you chamber here, come around, it'll, yeah, it'll make think you're coming here and you're coming there. Yep. Oh, okay. That's one of the joys, of, that's one of the great things about using yeah. a common key position. Yeah. Master key position for kicking, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if I bring just yeah. that front, that, if I bring this leg up, right? Yeah. You don't know if I'm going to throw a front, side, round, right? You're going to hook. Yeah. So, yeah. All right? I'm going to one more. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Okay. So um, yeah, let's keep playing with that for another couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, here, let's switch. Let's switch yeah. partners here. So here, why don't you guys work together, yeah. and then we'll. All right. All right. Well, we can do either one. I don't know. Yeah. So just pick. Yeah. If you can pick that leg up. Ooh, nice. I'm just taking this to the other way around. Yeah. I well, and I noticed you're going there. Yeah, that's perfect. All, gotta, all you have to do is get this in low. Yeah, I know. It does, yeah. I'm just so used to taking it right there. Yeah. Okay. There's, I see that. Yeah. yeah. That's about as high as I can get it. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> not <laughs> useful. It's all right. Yeah. It's still working on opening yeah. up the hands. Cool. Well, actually. Okay. Here. Actually, let's let's do some stretching. I think we. I was going to do that, and then yeah. Okay. So let me just make sure this is. Stop recording.